Beth. And I'm Beth. Welcome, Welcome to, to Physics, Physics with Beth and Beth. We are on AP Physics Curriculum. We're in Unit 1 and we are graphing motion. This is part 2 of these videos. If you haven't seen part 1, you should do that. Uh, before you watch this one, this is part 2. And we're adding a graphing motion now with acceleration. Alright, so when we have acceleration, we're going to have curved um, position time graph. So we have a position time graph, we have a velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph. Alright, we are going to um, talk about how to analyze these. I know I've had some students in my classrooms that try to memorize these curves and then memorize the velocity and the acceleration graphs that go with it. I highly recommend you do not try that. You really, it is high level analytics here uh, using the graph, but I have absolute faith you can do it. And if you actually understand it and analyze it, we're gonna do these three steps to show you. I think you're gonna find it's way easier to analyze it and understand it than it is to try to memorize these. Okay, now we're already, I'm already gonna assume that you understand the slope on a position time is velocity. A slope on velocity time is acceleration. All right, and then we have our acceleration graphs, the slopes of those. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with a graph that looks like this. All right, I'm gonna pull that out straight there. Okay, there's the three steps. We're gonna go over the three steps. If you can do these three steps every time, I think you're gonna find out that these are way more fun and uh, they're more understandable, easier to learn as well versus memorizing. The first thing you're gonna decide is if velocity is positive or negative. You're gonna look at that slope. If you can't tell from the slope because the curve is freaking you out and you don't see it, then you're gonna ask yourself, am I going from zero to, we'll just pick a number, five meters, or am I going five meters to zero to get velocity? And you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, here's a number line. Here's my zero, here's my five. This is like a number line in meters. If I'm going zero to five meters, then I am going east and my velocity is positive. If I am going from five meters to zero, then I'm going west and my velocity is negative because west and south are negative, east and north are positive, because remember our signs are just directions. So I'm gonna look at this graph, and I'm showing that I am, first of all, that graph, that's a positive slope. If you see that, then right away you're good, and you're gonna go, ooh, my velocity's positive. If you don't see it, go, okay, this is my meter line. I'm at zero, and then I end over here at, let's just say, five meters. All right, you can plug in numbers. We're just looking for shapes on these so you can make up numbers. So I'm going from zero to five meters. That means east velocity is positive. If you saw the slope, then good, perfect. The second thing you're gonna figure out after your sign on velocity is you're gonna decide if you are speeding up or slowing down. You can tell that by the steepness of the slope. If it's steep and then it goes to shallow, you're slowing down. If it's shallow to steep, you're speeding up. So look at this. I'm going, this is a steep slope. I'm going fast, 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 but then I slow down right here to this is at rest. Because remember, a horizontal line on the position time means that you're at rest. You are like stuck on this five meters for some length of time. Like if I hit the five meters on my timeline, I'm just here. I'm standing here, I'm at rest. All right, so here I was going really fast and then I'm going and I'm at rest. So I am definitely slowing down. So I'm gonna put slowing right here. So here's my first step, decide on the, the sign of velocity. Here's my second step, decide if I'm slowing down or speeding up, I'm slowing down. Now my third step is, hey, you gotta decide the sign on your acceleration, meaning the direction. If you're slowing down, then your velocity and acceleration are opposite signs. I told you this would come to haunt you through a lot of the year, and it does, important concept. If you're speeding up, your velocity and acceleration are same sign or in the same direction. So I'm slowing down. If my velocity is positive, that means my acceleration must be negative because they must be opposite direction or opposite signs is what the signs mean. All right, so I'm at positive velocity. So now I'm ready. I have my three things. I know my velocity sign. I know if I'm speeding up or slowing down. And I know the sign on my acceleration. And you are ready to go when you've got those three things. 
So my velocity is positive. That means my, my graph will not be in this negative. These are negative numbers. These are positive. If I have a positive velocity, my line better be above the zero. All right. I am going really fast and I'm coming in to rest at zero. So I'm really fast up here at some meters per second and I'm coming in to zero. And it's going to be a straight diagonal line. All right, why is that? Because this unit is UAM, it's uniform accelerated motion, your, your acceleration is constant. And if you remember, this, this slope is velocity, but this slope is acceleration. That means constant acceleration, that straight diagonal line on the velocity time graph. Now, you, we just figured out that our acceleration is negative. All right, so I am now in this part of the graph. I better not be in my positive. I better be in my negative part of my graph. And it's a constant, which means it's not changing, and it's a straight line. And there you go. Those are your three graphs. And I should have picked a different color here so you could see that. Let me uh, switch to blue, and you can see that that is your graph. So your graphs would look like this. And this one would be given. All right, there you go. Let's try again. We're going to try another one that looks like this. All right. Now we're going to figure out that velocity sign first. We're going to need to figure out the acceleration sign and if it's speeding up or slowing down. I'm looking at this slope. This is a negative slope. If you don't see that, then I'm going back to that timeline and I'm like, hey, I started up here at five meters and I'm going down to zero. So I started at five meters and I'm going to zero. That means I'm going west and my velocity is negative. All right, second, I want to figure out am I speeding up or slowing down? Well, look, this is a horizontal line on a position time. I am at rest here. I am stuck on my five meter line. I'm not moving for a given amount of time and then I start moving, okay? So I am going slow and then I'm getting faster and faster and faster as this slope gets steeper and steeper. So I am speeding up. All right, now I go to my sign on my acceleration. I'm speeding up. Velocity and acceleration must be in the same direction or same sign if you're speeding up. So that's gotta be negative too. So we have same signs for speeding up. Now I'm ready to go. I'm in my Velocity is negative. That means I better be in this negative section, not above the zero line. And I'm speeding up. Look, I'm at rest and I'm going faster and faster and faster. So I'm at rest at the beginning and then I'm going faster and faster and faster. And does that indicate that? Absolutely, because down here, maybe this is like negative eight meters per second, whatever, but it's faster than zero. All right, so I am speeding up. Now look at this. Just like this was a negative slope, so we have a negative acceleration. This is a negative slope, and we're going to have a negative acceleration. So again, below the zero line, it's got to be below, and we have a constant acceleration. And there you go. That's what that graph looks like. I'm going to do one more for you really quickly here. Let me just erase this really fast. Not great, but I'll erase it, get it going. We're going to do one more where it actually looks like this. All right, one more time. We got to figure out our sign on our velocity. That is a, if you look at that, you're going from five meters to almost zero. That is a negative slope. We're going, we start at five meters. And again, you can make up these numbers. You're not going to have numbers on your graph. We're just looking for shapes. Make up, make up whatever number you want. All right. And then you're coming in to almost at rest here from five to zero meters. So I'm at five going to zero meters west negative velocity. Now I'm going to figure out if I'm speeding up or slowing down. Really, really steep slope. And then it comes to rest. I'm going fast, because remember the slope on this is velocity. I'm going fast, 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 and then I'm almost at rest. So guess what? I'm slowing down. Because I, I come into some velocity, then almost to rest. Now, again, I need that sign on acceleration. If I'm slowing down, velocity and acceleration are opposite direction, meaning opposite signs. So that means that's got to be a positive. All right, I've got negative velocity. I need to be down here, not above, because I have negative velocity, so the negative part of this graph, and I'm slowing down. I was going really, really fast, and then I come into rest right here. 
So look, I'm going fast, whatever this is, negative eight meters per second, because you gotta remember the negative is just direction. That's zero meters per second, but I'm going eight meters per second first, and then I'm slowing down to zero meters per second. All right, that is a positive slope, which acceleration is what that slope is, and that is indeed positive. It's all working out. We love it when that happens. So my acceleration is a straight line in this positive section of the graph above the zero. I hope that helps in analyzing these graphs. Memorizing these is not a good technique to try to memorize each one of these curves. Remember these three steps. Get your velocity sign, speeding up or slowing down, and your acceleration sign. And you can do these every single time. And look at what you can do and what you can figure out and how great your analytical skills are when you figure this out. So um, keep working at it. I'm proud of you. You're doing great. And thank you for watching and happy physicsing.